Well, uh, seven hours and 32 minutes into the 18th day of uh, April uh, 2020. It was Sunday. Uh, the meditation has has begun. Uh, I'll be going till just about uh, 1130 noon. So that's about uh, five hours worth of meditation. Then I'll probably head hang, heading off to my parents' house on scooter. And because we got the scooter vlogs, you're going to get extra vlogs because the, the ride vlogs are going to be extra. So uh, that's the way I decided to do things. So you are going to be getting extra vlogs. Mm. So yay for that. Um, I did spend, uh, actually, I spent till 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday uh, in the music studio. Well, not yesterday, but a couple hours ago. I spent till about 3 a.m. Uh, in the music studio, just sort of uh, putzing around and uh, uh, starting uh, to work within the music studio. So uh, it is now a functioning place. So that is uh, now a thing. It's now part of the vlog. Uh, it's going to be part of the vlog. It's part of the research now. now. Uh, and I'll take you in there. I'm not doing too much of anything. These are just sort of the testing out different instruments, uh, testing, out, testing out different sounds. And then at a certain point in time, I'll look at uh, different styles of playing uh, different instruments. And then go from there into uh, assembling uh, uh, songs, music. So, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of pro It's going to take a bit of time. There is, you know, to see progress. But uh, you always have to start someplace. And uh, I'll be looking at different, different... Some of my earlier influences are Tangerine Dream... Uh, uh, Vangelis, uh, I'm more into the experimental types of music rather than the formal types of music, so we'll more likely to not be starting in the experimental than, uh, uh, which comes into play in current times as techno and house. So, uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, this is typical with everything else. You start, you simply choose a point and start from there. And however it ends up uh, uh, meshing out, that's kind of the way it is. And so, uh, <laughs> this is sort of I guess people call it the nature of the rea uh, the nature of the reality. So uh, we'll go from there and uh, try to see what we can sort of make out of it. Anyways, it's uh, time for me to get my first meal for the. Uh, service and uh go from that and then uh, uh five hours later i'll have the other meal there's two meals i usually have so well i was am miss was missing a day is the 19th today of april uh it is uh 10 hours and 36 minutes into the day 2021. I thought today was the 20th, but <laughs> apparently not. I do have a package opening. That's why we're here. Uh, it's, I know what came in. I was waiting for this. I got the notice uh, over the weekend, actually, that this was coming in. Again, my purchases aren't necessarily anything spectacular. They're uh, for everyday use around my place. In this case, uh, the thermostat was... Uh, wasn't working so well on my heater, and I decided to get a new one. So that's what's come in. It's the it's the, the new uh, thermostat, and it's packaged very well. This is the second layer of packaging of bubble wrap, but it's taped, so uh, it's going to require a bit of scissors to open it. So we'll do that. And get into that. And here it is, the thermostat. Not large, I wasn't expecting it to be large, but sufficient of sufficient size. Open it up on the inside and see what we have. Okay, very nice. 
We have an operating manual. Very well packed. This is the device itself. This is how big it is. That's the actual size. So, uh, I think very, very, very nice. And I look forward to installing it uh, probably sometime later on today. So, that's going to be on the agenda. Well, we're back in the music studio again. Um, it's a new addition to our, our work. Uh, basically, uh, I can't play anything because with copyright. It is 23 hours and 45 minutes into the 19th day of uh, April 2021. Oh, 15 minutes left in the day and... Oh yeah, I did do a do. I just I did an unboxing earlier. I'm still working on the project. It's going to take me a little longer than I expected it to, but this is kind of the way things go. Things uh, come in. You have an anticipation of how they're going to end up working out, but uh, more off of that, the expectation is uh, rarely ever met. So <laughs> that's kind of the reality of the thing. Um. I've been in a bizarre state all day today. I really haven't been able to sort of explain it. I think it's a bit of fatigue. Um, things are going well. It's not that the things aren't going well. They are going well. It just that my... I've been thinking about a lot of things. <laughs> There's been a lot on my mind. And at some point in time, as you sit down and ponder through things... You really don't want to do anything. I, I, I've the YouTube show has really fallen off. I've, I'm a couple days behind. Uh, I was supposed to do uh, watch, go through another YouTube show again tonight, but uh, that hasn't been the case. Uh, I'm doing more work in the music studio. Uh, I did my meditation earlier. Uh, I went to my parents' house to check up and see how they're doing. Uh, we sort of fixed things up for my mom. We're doing more work for my mom in terms of uh, trying to get her uh, back on her feet again. She, she always has these back problems, but then also uh, she has, uh, as she's resting with the back, uh, she has these problems in terms of uh, weakness. And it's a fight between uh, when she's not, when she's sitting around and not really doing much of anything, there's no uh, real appetite. Let me just adjust, adjust the camera here a little bit. Alright, that's better. I needed just the camera for here. It was uh, too much space between the head and the top of the frame. Centering your picture is important. You know, the the camera eye is important. Centering how, how things sit in the frame is equally important as well. Uh, in other words, you got to frame your shot. I try to do that even when I'm in bed, <laughs> but it's a little... A little more difficult when you're in bed, uh, lying down in bed, to sort of center the frame uh, without having things shake all over the place. Uh, the selfie stick helped a lot, but uh, like I said, in a bizarre mood, in a bizarre, bizarre place. Uh, I, I said, as, and again, it's not as if. Progress isn't being made. Progress is being made. But what happens is that it's the, it's the feeling of being back on the road again, back uh, on the path after resting for a while. You feel a little uh, uh, strange because you're going, but you have no idea where you're actually going. You don't know where you're going to. You don't know how long it's going to be until you, you next stop again. In other words, there's a number of issues that sort of start rolling around in your mind, uh, including where you've been, the, the, the past experiences. These come into play as well. In terms of, you know, feeling your next, really in many ways, it's feeling your next direction and, uh, if, if you're going the right way. Uh, doing the right amount of work, doing you know, if maybe not doing enough work. Uh, if you're gonna do what, what you're gonna do for the summer, like like 
I'm supposed to have the summer off, like you know, like like school. But the thing is, what does that time down look like? And for me, it looks like that I'm going to continue on doing my studies. I'm going to do them year round. Uh, this year, anyways. Uh, but I'll be, I'll be spending what I know what I've been doing. I've been spending more time in bed. I've been sleeping more, so more of it's been a sleep vacation in doing work in the other realm. The other realm is, is in the dream world is coming along. Oh, <laughs> as I said, I talked about the, I talked about the assembly line, the human assembly line. Uh, how do you create adults from children to adulthood? <clears throat> It's one massive production factory. Uh, the question is, how do you manufacture adults? And sort of what popped up in there was the whole issue of abuse and how people uh, react to abu abuse, and understand that the abuse is part of part of the system. It's it, it's. You know, I wonder well, why do you have systemic racism because you have. Systemic uh, abuse, that's why it's part of the system. And it always has been. How do you stop human trafficking? Well, given the fact that the UN is involved at very high levels in, in human trafficking, you're not going to stop it. Uh, there are things in, in, in play that, that are just simply, that are fun fundamentally beyond us. And there is no simple solution and this is where the game uh, uh, Lords Mobile comes into play. And these are the type of games I do like playing. And then this will be in to get get into the game QLAR. Things don't occur quickly. It's not a fast paced game because life doesn't evolve in a quick manner. Sometimes things go on for a long time, and the changes are very slight. They're not the way they the way, they're not the way you think they should be. In terms of how things change, and so and, and the thing is. You'll have a, mo a moment of time where you have a lot of oh, heavy work that's that's quick paced and fast paced, and these are the exciting moments. But another time to get to that point where you're 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 at I would call a launch point. You know, uh, there's a lot of mundane work involved that that you, that you plot along on a day to by day basis. And considering I just sort of left the point that was pretty good. Uh, a, you know, a sort of a launch point that was pretty good. Uh, I'm back in the mundane again. I'm back into the day-to-day -day work, the day-to-day -day routine. So now I've got my music studio and I'm doing more work in it. But the thing is, there's a lot, there's so much work to get done. It's just, you can't sort of look towards the end and say, okay, I'm going to go to that particular point. There's a lot of meandering that has to go on and sort of, as you move things a little bit further a little bit further, and then you run into a roadblock and you have to figure out how to work around it. There's a lot of that sort of factoring that comes into play. But it doesn't necessarily come out in that particular way in terms of a feeling. It just comes out, in some cases, as a bit of, of uh, a muddled mess, you know, where your mind is sort of uh, kind of foggy, kind of, you know, not necessarily focused on any one particular thing. And you see, to other people, you seem distant. You don't necessarily have a sort of call a social connection uh, during this period, during this sort of uh, behavior, and it it uh, it can make for things like how would I go back over and change it again? But there wasn't really anything I could sit down and sort of say, "Well, I'm going to change this and I'm going to change that." Uh, it just there wasn't anything to really sort of sort of grasp a hold of and say, okay, this is what this is. Uh, anyways, I, I think I'm going to leave that here for now, and I will see you uh, probably in a couple hours. Uh, I probably will uh, vlog again around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. As my next transition occurs again, it will be at that prob probably around that point. Uh, right now, I still have to do my hydration, and then we'll see where things go from that, from there.
Lira on a daylight ride. Uh, it's still the 20th. <laughs> you know, my days get so mixed up sometimes. Well, not sometimes. It's it happens more than enough. We have some concern. I want to increase the range of my abilities on the scooter, so uh, we're bringing it up now. The weather calls for snow, which is a little bit of snow, light snow, not nothing heavy, so uh, we should be able to ride. So let's do that. Southbound traffic is sufficient. So. There's a northbound traffic that I'm concerned for. Maybe. I've got more than enough clear space. Whoop. Didn't see that guy coming. Still a little tricky, uh, <laughs> as you can see right there. You don't always see see things coming, so uh, you always have to double check. I also need a bit of distance.
fair bit of traffic out. Oh, well, not quite what I was expecting, but anyways. rush hour, but considering that uh, everyone's locked down, enough people are sort of sticking to their homes and are, that uh, they're working from home that uh, the roads aren't too bad. I'm definitely going to have to wear my second layer of gloves when I come home tonight. It'll be too cold uh, otherwise. Ten seconds left to go. And there we go. Let the bus go. There's no point in paying 
clouds in the bus. Scooter rides on city streets. <laughs> Clearly not applicable on highways, but uh, city streets more than sufficient. 